Well guys, today we're talking about Minecraft. So I made a weird map on Minecraft. It was supposed to be a house to see, see basically how many mobs would spawn in the house at night. We even got a pillager to spawn. I know you're not throwing the, I'm not throwing the actual gameplay, but apparently like I even got pillager raids to spawn. But Wars in the world would almost certainly have to be changed and be made different to accommodate for dealing with Minecraft mobs as well. Well, for example, most countries have very strict gun wars, but those wars may need to be loosened, same for similar with weapon wars, simply so people can go hiking without, you know, a creeper at night blowing them up. Either that countries will either put out curfews, rules we can only go up to unrighted areas so creepers and other Minecraft enemies don't spawn. This is very, very dangerous. It will be very dangerous to go outside at night. Most crime will be committed during the day because most people will not risk going outside having to deal with a creeper blowing up things. There will be a lot more craters everywhere, as creepers will have been existing as long as we would have, of, and they have been blowing up stuff. Guns and other, and other similar things will be the most effective way of dealing with creepers, as creepers will blow up things and cause billion, millions of damage every year, and will be one of the most dangerous things in the world alongside zombies, skeletons, pillagers, and spiders as well. Well, zombies and skeletons wouldn't be, you wouldn't have to be worried all too much about because they would burn up in the day. But creepers and spiders would be a very different issue. Spiders don't attack you during the day, but creepers would be an issue because creepers don't despawn during the day. They. So we lived in the Minecraft world. We would have to be worried of creepers everywhere. Well, as creepers don't die in the day. Creepers are still alive during the day and can basically still kill you as well. Well, and considering that we're the only things that creepers really attack, humans are the only things creepers really attack, other animals will not be too scared of the occasional seeing the creeper but as well. What about the nether? The people would have knowledge of other dimensions existing. This would be common knowledge of another dimension called the nether as well. And also another dimension called the end, which is ruled by the ender dragon. Again, the nether would be found out eventually one day by, by humanity. Where people create a po obsidian portal by accident. Then all the way back to maybe even the bronze age when people figure out how to use obsidian. Again, they create another portal. This creates a whole source of problems. And nether portal access is only usually used for the rich and famous. And when countries start to take over the nether, pigwins and other, and other nether creatures are used either as slaves or as basically farms. So, and the nether would basically be explored by humanity. It would be a very dangerous place to go to, but it would basically be used as an infinite source of gaining gold and stuff from pigwins and other mobs as well. And now we have the end. A right sword will be you mostly used for the super rats, as getting to the gain a right sword will be very, very hard and very, very difficult. A right sword is an extremely rare item that is found in Minecraft. Raft, very, very hard to get a right sword in Minecraft. Craft, so mostly rich people would have a right sword. What about cows? Would cows exist? Assuming that humanity goes down a similar technological path, there will be phones, computers, and other things be invented. Did a game similar to my a game similar to Minecraft that simulates our real world would exist? Exist, and it would create a bunch of oxymorons, essentially, or paradoxes. Okay, I think paradoxes makes more sense. But people would still, but cows would also be brat. Would need to still be need to be creeper, zombie, and and creeper proof. Which means grass would need to be impervious to arrows. And also, it would be legal to run over hostile Minecraft mobs, as they are basically dangerous. 
there'll be more car crashes related to hostile mobs because as especially creepers as well. There'll be more car accidents related to creepers than drunk driving, as creepers can spawn on off the side of the road, similar to zombie skeletons and spiders. But creepers would also cause the most amount of road damage. Rids. Rids. Then humanity will have to find make houses that are basically immune to creeper explosions. Mostly using houses made out of stone and stone related blocks as well. Instead of using flimsy resources like wood and stuff that can be easily blown up by creepers. Birds. So we would live in a world where people would be carrying around weapons to fight against creepers, zombies, spiders, and skeletons. Dens. As well. There will be less crime as people would be more worried about dealing with the hostile mobs and other humans. But crime would still exist. Considering that griefing is a popular thing happened in Minecraft, there would still be crime and still there would still have to be police working out for crime as well. Police would have to wear diamond or netherite armor with a chanted on it to deal with also the hostile mobs and of course the hostile players who also have this armor on. 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 And essentially, many major cities would be police states as well because many, many less experienced people or lower off people would constantly try to rob people's houses for diamonds and emeralds and other materials they might need throughout their lives as well. Villagers would also be would also kind of, you know, have human rights as well. Well, considering the fact that basically villagers and piglins would be used as slaves in earlier parts of the human in the Minecraft human history as well. Well, some mobs would basically be in danger of extinction because they'll be basically snuffed out, and the rest will be put on reserves. For example, for elder guardians and other similar mobs that are very well defined, as well. And what about? And let's just say there's hypothetical hundreds of thousands of species of mobs as well, not just the 50 or so that exist in the current Minecraft game as well. So if Minecraft was in real life, it would be a totally different world. People would be fighting hostile mobs and griefers as well. Police would be having to work all day. And also, the problem is there's another mob that's also a problem. But... Considering that you don't really need to sweep in Minecraft, we're also going to assume that humans don't need to sweep in this world. Kind of like in Minecraft. But if humans keep, keep lose track of time, well, there'll be another foe called the Phantom waiting for humans. So imagine you have the, the your boss makes you work three days, a, three days a straight and then you're driving home and these things are coming down at you and hitting you because you haven't swept enough. Enough. Basically, every job would require you have to sweep because of phantoms. Only in some third world countries, phantoms would still be a major issue, or would deal with lazy people who haven't touched grass and come out and be attacked by phantoms. There would also be a lot of people who would be too scared to leave their houses, especially older people as well, and older people would probably be cared more by newer players as well, as they would, they would still have to deal with the effects of aging as well. And it'll be worked out by newer players, so they don't have to deal with my hostile mobs. Also, every house will be brightly lit, even at night, simply so hostile mobs don't spawn in people's houses. And even the basements as well, because creepers and stuff can spawn there too. We would live in a very, very different world if Minecraft was in real life. And, yeah, it would be a very strange world as well. Also, every person would have would bring a cat with them as well. Well, which would be another thing that would be pretty common. Cats would be able to sought after pets as well as one with wolves. Wolves would be able to help you protect against the hostile mobs, and cats would literally scare away creepers. So the only way people would be able to hike at night if they had a cat with them at all times, as well. Well, or they in a brightly lit area, as well. Another problem would be the nether mobs. Sometimes nether mobs will trickle through into the real world, and that would be a problem. But that would leave the government to basically take control of the nether, so always sorts of people can come out and come through as well, and ma making sure that the nether is under control. And yeah, that is it about this video. So yeah, Minecraft is a very dangerous world compared to our own. 
At least we don't have to worry about walking around at night dealing with undead zombies and creepers everywhere. Well, and we can at least sleep in the dark knowing that there will be a creeper or skeleton cat spine hitting you at the very at the very beginning during your sleep. And yeah, and also kind of considering that there's seven billion people as well, time sleep will basically be like you know how it is in real life. So there's 7 billion people on this world. World would be a different time zones. And that's it about this video here. Goodbye.